So if you're not familiar, this is Upland. It is a uh, Web3 Layer 1 metaverse built on the EOS blockchain. Uh, what that means is that uh, this is a blockchain game uh, or um, DAP where you can buy, sell, trade properties. So all of these lovely boxes, blue, green, and otherwise, are all individual NFTs, non-fungible tokens. They're really just uh, blockchain assets uh, that is owned by somebody. And then they, you can mint them, and then you can sell them. So this person is selling this for 90,000 UPEX. Uh, UPEX is the in-game currency um, that is used in Upland. And will be a lot of what you see um, in one way or another working in UPEX world as well. So a lot of our games and things like that are likely going to take UPEX or derive from UPEX in one shape or another. And so knowing like the ratio of 1,000 UPEX is essentially one US dollar. So let's talk about UPEX world in this sense. So Upix World is built as a layer two to a platform to different platforms such as Upland. So in Upix World, when you see us flying around um, and going through different properties, that is uh, a replication of this layer one. So as there are properties and things being built here, uh, if for instance, we were to render dog patch, a dog patch metaphase, these are the properties and things that would be around. Um, and the reason I pull this one up specifically is because this is the future home right here of the Upex World Genesis decor shop, uh, decor showroom, uh, where we will be selling the uh, the statues that we were just mentioning, which are manufactured at this gray dot right here. So here is our Genesis plant. So this is going to, this allows us to create layer one items, specifically outdoor decor. This is our Genesis, um, the item here, it's the test tube statue with a signature little uh, nod there to the X. <laughs> yeah, yeah, subtle nod there. Uh, there is a max printing of a thousand of these and I realize that the, that the background of this makes it very difficult uh, to see. I apologize. Um, so here you can see, uh, here we go. These are the statues. It takes so long to manufacture them that I don't know of a fair price to even sell them at. Um, so likely I'd, I will give them away or maybe auction them off. These items to me um, have more meaning and value, uh, especially related to layer two. Um, now other, and this doesn't mean that there won't be layer two aspects. So I mean, ours is fairly simple. I'll show off some other um, ones because I think it's important just also give context here of what is being manufactured. So if we go over to uh, Brotherhood Way, this is uh, the UpEx podcast manufacturing. So they are using this beautifully huge lot. And here is the OG Anvil. Dun, dun, dun. The OG Anvil. Super cool. Um, and so I, I uh, they still haven't clarified we'll be able to sell them secondary well they will though so <laughs> the funny thing is that's it's a fair point the reality is that you can trade these right so i can just come here and i can offer a trade and then i can go do you know here's you know a block explorer um or legits or whatever so i mean this is what everybody does is then they just go okay let me give you a burner um, item here, and then I'll, I'll, I'll buy a property for UpEx, right? So there's always ways around it. Um, let's see, so you can come and you can just, like I can, in fact, that's what I did. I traded for the OG Anvil one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and so like you can, you can trade items. So there's really, it's the same thing as with anything. Like you can, 
there's not much they can do about that. Um, again, you can't sell it at the store. The nice thing about, and this is what people say, well, then what's the point of any of the stores? Well, being able to sell asynchronously is hugely valuable. Um, it is a massive time saver. If you are trying to sell product um, by, say, going into a chat and saying, hey, I have this for sale and this is how much I want to buy it for. Like managing that individually is a huge pain. Um, and is not scalable. You have to have some sort of storefront or persistent um, interaction that you can sell your products and goods at. That way it's working while you're sleeping, right? Because uh, if not, then you're always missing half the market. And if you work, say, a standard shift or you play during a standard hours, you're never going to hit a new audience. So you're at a massive disadvantage of trying to sell secondary if you don't have a storefront directly. Because like, for instance, if I wanted to buy a block explorer, right, then I could either, I would have to go start spamming chat, or I could um, come to a, a store shop now. Uh, so then again, I can now shop immediate. And that also means that the people selling these can now sell immediate. So that is the importance of a shop. Uh, and you definitely want one of those. Um, and other things, so you can now make a home address. So this is also, this is super important. Um, if you haven't done this, you definitely want to look into this. Your home address is going to be critical um, to a lot of what up Upland is doing, but also to UpX world, this is going to be how you unlock your personal meta phase. This is how you're going to be able to, to unlock other things because by having your home address set in order to set that you have to be KYC. So that allows us to do things to know that you're KYC. There's plenty to do in layer ones to get ready for layer twos. Um, other things you can do are cool things like this. If you haven't seen it, here is Bones by Bones. So this is another thing you can do like fun um, projects. I've seen a lot of development that uses like color coordinating between the tops of houses, um, other things like that. Uh, this particular one is uh, shaped like a skull. The, I, the plan here for layer two is that this will be converted um, into a skeleton carnival with uh, different games and rides and things like that that you'll be able to um, purchase and interact with using Upex. Uh, and then you will actually, if you are an owner here, this is gonna be one of the first projects where we introduce the earnings and profit share capability um, and the real, uh, and then this will filter down to the owners of these properties. Uh, and then the ownership will be based on occupancy. So for instance, here is the um, apartment complex. And I realized that it doesn't tell you the building people there, but each one of these has essentially eight living units um, where the smaller townhouses only have one. Um, so from a revenue split perspective, the apartments will get eight shares to every one share of the small townhouse or, and I, I believe the full townhouse is three. I guess we could just go here. I think it just go like build. And we can look at uh, units, living units. Here you go. One, three for a townhouse. One, one, eight for apartments, one on the rest of these. Okay, so yeah, so the rest of those is one. There are still some available, likely will be the last weekend. I, I don't think we'll see this go into next weekend. Um, so just as a heads up, there are, I essentially have everything that's ever going to be for sale, for sale right now. Uh, after a couple more of, of them sell, I will be taking them all off the market until we actually go and balance out the game. Um, that's going to be for it. So if you are interested in getting a part ownership of Bones Balboa and what its layer two dedicated metaphase will be, uh, be sure to get in uh, this weekend.